Let's talk to a man who hasn't been on the show for a while. It's been far too long. He's the president of the Zionist Organization of America, a good friend of this show and a good friend of mine. Morton Klein, welcome back. Dr. Gorka, people would think you're very intelligent, even if you didn't have that great accent. (laughs) (laughs) I know it helps. I know people don't realize it makes you sound clever, means that I'm not as clever as I sound. But the accent (laughs) is, it's hard to beat. All right, we have to talk about, you've been fighting anti-Semitism your whole life. The Biden administration allegedly has a plan to do this. But first things first, given the significance of New York and the City University, I have to get your response to this student speech from the publicly funded City University in New York. Cut 13, Fatima Mohammed. In this moment of celebrating who we are, I want to celebrate CUNY Law as one of the few, if not the only law school, to make a public statement defending the right of its students to organize and speak out against Israeli settler colonialism. Israeli settler colonialism. Uh, Are there going to be any repercussions for a publicly funded institution evincing such anti-Semitism, Mort? This was the most monstrous, dangerous, anti-Semitic, anti-American speech ever given on a serious podium, on a serious podium, City College Law School. This woman has called, listen to this, in this speech she called to hunt down Jews and murder them. She called for globalizing the Intifada. The Intifada is the terror war against Jews that the Arabs have perpetrated. She says globalize it. Kill Jews around the world. She accuses Israel of indiscriminate murder when it's the Palestinian Authority which pays Arabs a lifetime pension to murder Jews. And the more Jews they murder, the higher their lifetime pension. The Prime Minister of the Palestinian Authority only last week praised all of these Arabs who recently have murdered Jews as they're simply driving in their cars. And that's not all. She has called, called, condemned capitalism and called for the end of the United States of America. She called, exact words, death to the United States of America. Death to it. And And she has called for every Jew to burn in the hottest part of hell. This is, not only was this speech monstrous and should never have been given, the dean of the law school read the speech ahead of time and approved it. And after she finished her remarks, uproarious applause by the students of CUNY Law School, and the dean was filmed applauding it as well. We have called for her to be fired immediately. We've written to the state bar, various state bars, that she should not be given a license to practice law. This woman, Fatima Mohammed, who made the speech, because character is one aspect of being given a law license. Yes. This woman has no character. All right. Well, we uh, we want to hear the updates of what is happening to Cooney and to this student. I want to keep you on. We'll discuss for our Rumble viewers in the break the so-called anti-Semitism plan of the Biden administration. But in the meantime, please follow this man right now on Twitter, Morton A. Klein 7. That's Morton A. Klein 7. And then check out his amazing organization, Zoa.org. That is Z-O-A, Z-O-A. A.org. I'm Sebastian Gorka. This is America First. So, Mort, tell us about this alleged anti Semitism plan from the White House. I'll tell you that after I tell you, I had lunch with Donald Trump several weeks ago at his country club in West Palm. I told him I'm friends with Dr. Sebastian Gorka. He said, That man understands what loyalty means. <laughs> Just want you to know that. That's very kind. That's very kind. So, what do our millions of listeners and viewers need to know about this so called mm-hmm. plan? This is a dangerous plan that the Biden, Deborah Lipstadt, who's the anti-Semitism yes. czar, so-called, <laughs> that's presented in order to fight anti-Semitism, Jew hatred, Israel bashing. In fact, it enables it and legitimizes it. <laughs> this plan says, we, exact quotes, we welcome and appreciate as a valuable tool the nexus definition of anti-Semitism and other such definitions. The nexus definition says if you say that Israel has no right to exist, if you say you should boycott and sanction Israel, that's not anti-Semitism, <laughs> which legitimizes anti-Semites who say and do those things. In addition, there's nothing in the plan 
about Islamic anti-Semitism, radical Islamic anti-Semitism, or radical black anti-Semitism, even though the majority of physical attacks against Jews in Brooklyn, Muncie, Jersey City, and elsewhere, unfortunately are perpetrated by radical blacks. Yet there's nothing about it. And there's nothing about the squad, the anti-Semitic group of members of Congress, uh, Rashida Tlaib, Ilan Omar, Betty McCollum, and, and such, no discussion whatsoever about it. <laughs> and uh, as a frightening part of it, a fr- uh, even more frightening, that th- to work hard to end hate speech, to do whatever we can to end hate speech. Now, nobody supports hate speech, but if you say end hate speech, how is that defined? That means if you want to condemn radical Islam, uh, they may consider that hate speech of and you course. won't be able to do it yeah. anymore. It's, du- it's a double standard. It's a double standard. Let's continue the conversation. Everybody, in the meantime, if you're watching Mort, go to zoa.org. That's zoa.org. God bless you, Mort. It's been far too long. God bless you. Thank you. Th- thank you, Dr. Gorka.